Huh? I did not cancel that order. Wait, I didn't get CS and my ult on cooldown. I'm actually tilted right now, wow. I didn't get a stack and it's on cooldown? Wait, this champion sucks. Wait, I got so many kills. What? So as you guys may have known, I've been missing for two days and the reason being is because I just haven't been able to get any good clips. So those clips that you saw earlier were actually the best clips and they're actually not that good either. So what's been happening on my quality content account is I've been losing games and then I've been winning them back with Trindamir, then losing to 0 LP, winning them back. It's just like absolutely painful. Every time I lose a game, I have to replace another game with a win so that I don't drop out of plat 1, you know, because I'm just trying to learn like a way to make tank Cho'Gath work. And the main problems I'm facing is I'm either grouping with my team and just being a very useless like Q bot, which actually I miss a lot of Qs, it's really hard to land. And then outside of that, you're like split pushing to the side, but you push really slowly because you have no split push items, it's just very inefficient. So I'm almost tempted to get a tier map, but I don't know if that's a good idea. So what I've noticed is there's so many problems with tank Cho'Gath, especially in elos that people aren't really very clued in on when to go in and when to run away, you know? So it's kind of been a worry that I haven't been able to win consistently as Cho'Gath. Like I did win like one or two games here and there.
Unfortunately, as you guys can see on the screen, there's only rank solo queue and blind pick. I am definitely not going rank solo queue on my challenger account playing Cho'Gath, so... That last game, right, was a flex game, but look at the, the OP.GG. It's actually very close to quality content account where it's just like plat ones and diamonds. It was actually perfect. It was a really close simulation to the kind of opponents I would have gotten if I was playing on the other account, and also I wouldn't have to waste so much time getting back all the elo that I've been losing. So we're going to jump into a game anyways and see how we go. Hey, how's it going guys? JC here. Welcome to the Bronze Diamond episode. Today we'll actually be playing on quality content. I'm just going to YOLO it. Win or lose, we're just going to upload this. I'm already sick and tired of this champion. Basically, if you're playing a tank, guys, in the top lane, you're probably auto-filled. And if you're not, then you should really play something else. But if you're playing a tank, uh, you're rolling the 50-50 dice, okay? So if your team wins, you win. If the team loses, you lose. As simple as that. Otherwise, if you play... I mean, that's assuming you play it properly. So I think against their team, they're very AD heavy. Except for Syndra, which I don't think she's going to use her ult on me. I'll eventually get some magic resist through Gargoyle Stone Plate, so I'm not going to worry about that just yet. What I'm going to do is get Frozen Heart, and then after that I'll get Righteous, so that will be a lot of CDR. Then after that I'll go for Warmogs. We'll have max CDR to max out our ult, so I'm just going to be ulting minions over and over unless I think I can get a kill soon. Otherwise we're facing against Renekton with Ignite, so very cheesy, very strong early, but I'm not sure why Inspiration secondary. He wants a lot of attack speed, I guess. Maybe he's going for like... Phantom Dancer. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, damage. I guess if he... Oh my god, okay, I missed that one. I'll wait for my E to come up again. Whoa, there's so much action. Wait, this guy's just letting me order him. I mean, he's, if he's going to do that, then I'll take it. Okay, we'll just keep shopping then. This is where I have to fend for myself if I get ganked. I guess I'll pop another point in my E. Let's do more damage with my E. Oh my god, Yasuo is winning? Holy crap. We actually have some hope. Like, imagine if Yasuo feeds. That's when the game's already over. Before it even started. I'm just trying to aim it at him. But either way, it's fine. I don't have much kill pressure if he doesn't let me, you know? He has to all in and fight me. And why is he boots? This, this is, oh, I, I, okay. No wonder he's getting out traded so hard. He has boots. He's so greedy. Huh? Oh, I guess he's silent so he can't flash, but still. Alright, whatever. This is the one and only game I'm going to play, whether I monkey out later on or not. So, Glacial Shroud first. That's a very good purchase. 10% CDR, get some armor. Not much though, only 20 armor, so we're still really squish. That's why I have my TP. But yeah, he didn't use a single sum. So, Renekton still has everything. I don't think I can TP into that one. So I think the best times to TP is after you go back, you buy an item. And while you're buying item, you should be looking to TP. And if you don't see it, then you don't do it. Uh, otherwise, during laning phase, it's really rough. Like, if you want to TP, you want to shove this all the way in, and then you TP. Unless you have a very keen eye and you know that this TP play is going to work out 100%. Otherwise, probably not worth CDR boots? What? What the intarnation? Oh yeah, we're getting frozen heart first. He's going to try to like combo me out and then dive me, so it's not worth. 
there we go. Got the CS. You know, edged it with just the tip. Oh, actually, Master is mid, so we're not going to get Dove. It's always heartwarming to know. Oh. Yes, and he didn't pressure us in, so we can just, like, get all the CS. If it crashes into tower, it's almost impossible for Cho'Gath to get all the CS. This guy is missing. Oh, he's over there. Okay. Damn. Did he use any sums? I wish they pinged sums. Okay, I have my ult. I actually have a lot of kill pressure right now. Just because... What the? His dash went so far. That second dash, it felt like two. It just went so far away. Like, it was out of my W range already. That's impossible. Okay, well, 300 health is my norm, so I want to make sure I can get him to 300. I wonder where Yi is. I'm actually really scared right now. I want him to push in a little bit more. But yeah, if I could get like two autos and then my W, then auto one more time and nom. I think that's a kill. Okay, let's just back away until our E comes up again. I wanted to auto him. Okay, this will freeze just outside, so this is perfect actually. I have kill pressure, so I'm not going to norm this cannon. Okay, he's long gone. I really wish Talia wasn't there because this is a perfect setup for me to get the kill on Renekton. But because Talia's there, it ruined my plans. Like, all I needed was Renekton to come back and try to push me in, and then I get a kill. Norman just push. Actually, I should have saved it for the cannon. Okay, so we pushed it in. Let's go back. Actually, very close to Frozen Heart. Very, very close. So I'm working towards my Righteous Glory as well at the same time. But yeah, Frozen Heart first. Get that 20% CDR. And after that, we'll get another 10% from another Glacial Shroud. Renekton has red buff as well, but I think we're scaling really well. Our ult's coming up again. I don't think I have kill pressure right now. I might as well norm a minion. But it's kind of annoying that he roamed. Wait, he's gonna proxy me? What? Alright, that works out. I have so much armor that I'm not gonna take any damage from minions. Man, that's a master E. That guy's not gonna come in. Okay. I don't have all damn. But yeah, we're actually really strong. We stood toe to toe against uh, Renekton with all.
Little does he know I don't have ult up. Because I think that's what he's scared of. I can push in one more, and then after that I'll go back. I'll nom one of the minions. Because I'm pretty sure he went back. guy is a monkey. Okay, so get our frozen heart here. It's gonna be so hard for both Yi and Renekton to kill me now. Okay, head back to lane. Oh, actually, oh wait, Syndra's there? Oh my god, okay my bad. Oh back, back. I didn't see Syndra, I thought they got away. Oh my god. I am such a monkey. She even walked through a ward. I can't believe it. That's my fault. I definitely needed to TP there. Wait, Renekton's mid. Damn, I was just looking at the screen, not the map, so I didn't see Syndra at all. I was like, hmm. They already got away. If I TP'd, then I wouldn't have done anything. Okay, we're just trying to scale and get strong. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, he's dead though. Oh, he can... No. It's a good try. Let's see, I have three stacks now. I'm gonna become unkillable soon. So that's the plan. Or well, at least that's the dream. Okay. Get a towel here. Not bad, not bad. 20 seconds, I can feast again. That's the beauty about getting a frozen heart early. So Master Yi took Drake. Uh oh. Can he not? Damn. That was a long painful death. I guess that's the thing about getting caught out really easily. Whoa. Him doing work. He's gonna try to proxy me. Okay. I think I'm indestructible now against Renekton. I have boots as well now. But yeah, over there I honestly didn't think I was going to die. Then there was a Lucian that showed up. And I'm, I keep forgetting I'm super immobile. Even though I think like, I'm not gonna die, but I actually am. It's because Cho'Gath, you know. Let's push another wave and then we'll go mid. Wow, okay. Damn, I thought I had him. I took a lot more damage than I thought I would. Mm, feels bad. We can TP mid. Yeah, let's TP and cut him off. If he does escape. If not, we can non Syndra. Oh my god, I hate myself. Okay, worth? I'll take it. Let's nom a minion here. So we get um, 4 out of 6. Wait, Lucian? Let's head over and get Lucian.
guy is so brave. Actually worked out because I have no mobility. I need it. I need 600 more gold. Okay. Damn, this feels so bad. This champion feels really, really, really bad. I, I can definitely 1v1 him. But he has to fight me. I can't chase at all. Am I getting ganked? Yeah, I'm getting ganked. Man, I hate playing this champion. <laughs> Absolutely hate this champion. Okay, what's this? Two more stacks. Oh. I think the general rule about playing Cho'Gath that I've learned is that I'm supposed to sit at the tower and defend the tower. Otherwise, I group and fight with the team. Be defensive or be defensive. You, you can never push up and actually do anything. At least not with Yi around. Oh god. I need to farm for my Righteous and then I'll be able to team fight a lot more efficiently. My Nom does like 1100. Oh my god, Kaisa's not moving. Keep him slow. Yeah, just keep him locked down. Nice. There we go. We're actually doing something. Thank goodness. Let's see. Oh my god, I still need stacks. Oh, give me this blue. Okay, nice. Alright, let's get out of here. If I walk up, I'm dead. Because I have zero mobility. We have so much gold off of this, so, so good. Thank goodness, I'm actually doing something in a game that I just decide to upload whether it goes well or not. Okay, now we get Warmogs. So there we go, 40% CDR. I just need to nom something else, get my stacks up, and then after that, every other nom is for team fights, I guess. Let's see, how much does it do now? It does 680 damage. So we can just walk up and, like, auto her twice, W and nom. Or auto once. Actually, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, wait, she's already dead. Never mind. Wait. What? My nom didn't do damage? Still fighting. Oh. Okay, 
Okay, I guess we're really uh, just a Q-Bot. Alright, let's go. I have my feast ready. Oh, and that'll give me my sixth stack. Oh my god, is he bronze or something? Why did he do that? That just told them. Actually, I have Norm. 1k Norm. Oh, you're kidding me! Why did it jump? Oh my god, what the heck was that? I should have just not me. It was bad. Wait, Kaisa just suicided. I guess I'll defend. Oh, he flashed. Okay, so next item is Gargoyle Stone Plate. This Lucian's just going to split push all day. I guess I can hold very easily against him. Oh, okay. Nice, we one shot him. Sweet, we got them all. Okay, at least we're redeeming ourselves. Um, after I guess that Baron got stolen. But that was insane. I I don't know how the health just. Let's just ask them to come over and we push top. Okay. Wait, can we even kill him? I thought I'll do a little bit of damage. Nice, we got him. I'm full health again because of War Monks. Oh no, Yasuo's dead.
Nice. We can end it. Oh, thank goodness. I don't have to play this champion again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, despite all of that. Okay, thank goodness. I am so done. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, no more, no more of this. <laughs> I have to say, Cho'Gath is pretty good against Renekton, though. Like, it's not too bad. It's just that in terms of mid to late game, where we want to take objectives, Cho'Gath is very bad, because if anyone was to walk up to Cho'Gath with the Renekton, then that Cho'Gath is dead. That's what I've learned. Oh yeah, GG well played. That Talia, oh my god, that Talia carried so hard. That's insane. Talia is actually really strong, but very hard to play in my opinion. Be sure to vote down below which champion you want to see in the next episode. Please stick to the champion list down below. I do strongly prefer if you guys stick to the comfort list in the description box below. That would help a lot because playing tanks, I don't know, it's just, it's not very good, okay. Like, look at my CS, 170 CS. What other champion have I played in this series that have gotten 170 CS at 30 minutes? Because you absolutely can't side lane, it just takes too long to push. Unless you get a Titanic Hydra, but even then it's still very slow. And you're very immobile as well, so I don't know. It just feels too clunky. Like when you're in the middle of a team fight and you're unkillable, that feels really good. So that's the only thing I can give Cho'Gath credit for. Other than that, mm, I don't really see too much. Anyways, GG well played. Thank you so much for watching to the very end. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.